much, guys. Whoa, what an incredible series this is shaping up to be. It's going to be winner take all game five. Uh, let us break down, pick some bands. First pick Lucian over to NIP, which is something that we actually thought they would do a couple of games earlier, which did leave Kha'Zix and Jax the first pick for Millennium. What did you make of the strategy of both teams? Mm, I don't think they prioritized Lucian that far, like that hard because they just left it open all the two games, but I think it's a really good first pick in this patch right now. So Graves, it's like a skill matchup. Lucian with Graves is like a skill matchup, and um, if they're confident in their ability to win any lane, then Lucian is definitely a good pickup, but I don't agree with leaving up Jax, so. I mean, what, what, what do we take from that game? Because there were so many different things happened. There was a five-man Jax Counter-Strike stun. Yeah. There was a Baron, a great Baron fight, honestly. Nuke yeah, got yeah. screwed up. But is, I mean, in terms of plays, after what? They were 50 minutes into that. They just had that great fight with the Baron, and then they pushed. Mm -hmm. is that, I mean, is that just, just blood boil? You're just going too aggressive? Because clearly they needed to back at that point. Yeah, I think the game was over at that point. After the Baron, I was like, okay, this is GG. They have the better champions in team fights. They can just kite and back. They have a Morgana with a TF together. It's like chain CC for five seconds. And Shivana is really a non-factor compared to Jax. So yeah, I think it was just a misplay from Millennium. Like, it was not really good play by NIP. It was just straight up misplay by Millennium. So. so from that, I mean, how does your mental stability go after that? I mean, you've just gone 2-1, and then suddenly yeah. you were about to win the game. And are we going to be back in the LCS? And no, no. we're suddenly in a winner takes all game. The most important thing about this is don't change your game plan. Like, stick to what you want to do. And I think if we see a similar champion selection, that Millennium can win. But um, yeah, it can also go to NIP. But I think NIP should just stick with Rise and Nocturne ban, and maybe add the Jax ban. And then it's like equal playing field. So top lane doesn't have a high scaling uh, top laner then. And yeah. Cotton X didn't really have that much of an impact on Kha'Zix as he had on Nocturne. Yeah, scaling seems to be the, the central word here because you said the main thing will be they have to pick champions that yeah. can outscale. They didn't really succeed, but what did you make of the comp in terms of trying to counter every scaling element that was on Millennium? I think Millennium misplaying the Dragon with the Quadracle for a kill was really unnecessary. Like, <laughs> dragon, is, dragon is not worth it. If you have a fat Jax who can just one-on-one -on -one top lane, and you know that you can't contest it, just leave it. Dragon is not worth it. So we learned that the hard way in CLG too. Dragon is not worth anything in early game, just leave it. If you can get farm on your jacks or something, don't even risk it because you know that you will outscale them 100%. So yeah, I think that was the biggest misplay that got the NIP the advantage. And even when NIP didn't really use the advantage, it kept them in the game somehow. So yeah, it was just like Millennium taking advantage of NIP's really passive game and then throwing it away, and that not only once. So they just have to play it correctly and know what they have to do and know their win conditions. So obviously all four games so far have been more 50 plus minutes. <laughs> do they suddenly take a gamble and go, let's go for the really early game strategy and just try and rush them? Because clearly Millennia are comfortable when it goes long. Well, at this point I know that Millennium will pick Soraka or Zix again probably because it will be open. And NIP wants the same champions, I think. So, yeah, we just have to see how it works out. And, like, it can work out that they can just stall for 50 minutes again and hope for the better late game. Or they can just go for hyper aggression early game. But uh, I think we can expect another 50 minute game, to be honest. If we look at some lanes where things could possibly go different, something that has been kind of strange to me is the absence of Caitlyn altogether, something that would work very well with the Needly last game, for instance. Um, why do you think it is that these teams don't prioritize that here? Mm, I don't know, actually. It's like every team has Lucian preference, actually, because he's like the best lady carry by far. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I think Lucian has the highest priority for both, big, uh, for both teams. Even when NIP wanted to leave it open, I don't think they want to risk it that something can happen. But um, yeah, I think they will pick it on the first rotation on purple this game. So. We know what you think they would do. What would you do if we were in this position right now? What would, what would be going through your brain? You know, you're backstage, talking to your team. You've got a 10-minute break between the games. Yeah. What do you say? Do you, do you stay quiet? Do you talk to your team? Do you, you know, is there some sort of moral words of wisdom you can pull out here? Because I don't know. 
I don't think I'm the right person for the words <laughs> of wisdom or something because I'm tilting really hard too. Like, it can happen, you know. You need someone else that does it, but um, I would just say, okay, guys, keep, stick, stick to the game plan, and yeah, let's try it again. We beat them. We know we can beat them for both teams. Yeah. And yeah, if people and teams play to their strength, I think both can win. So just have to see if it works out. Yeah, you have shown a lot of words of wisdom at this table here already today, so don't sell yourself <laughs> short. Um, guys, predictions, and yeah. a winner takes all, game five, it's all on the line. Dexter, who's going to come out on top? I think Millennium. See, I said NIP right at the start, and I still, I think they may edge it. I think after that, after that finish, that's going to be gutting for Millennium. So I'm going to see NIP may steal it here. Going to be very close on with the two teams tied neck and neck. We need to take a brief break to catch our breath for game five. One of these two squads will head into the LCS and we'll find out who that is when we return.